First and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the low quality of this video. I had no intention of actually making a video today. I just happened to start practicing rebuilding one of the calipers on my RED124 project. But before I get started on that, have a look at this atrocious steering damper that was fitted to the car, still from the factory. This isn't dampening anything other than the road surface as the car drives along with its oil leaking everywhere. It's astonishing what people will leave on their car after almost 30 years. I guess it just gradually fails to the point that they don't notice it's not working anymore. So this was me getting started on um, removing the caliper from the car. I got the pistons uh, extended already by just using the brake pedal and leaving the pads in place so that the pistons didn't explode out. Um, and then once uh, enough fluid leaked out of the uh, bleed screw that it stopped running, I disconnected the hose. I do have new hoses, obviously, they're going on with the calipers once I've finished with them. And this is really a practice run on the first side, so mistakes were made, but it's going to work. Uh, and as you'll see shortly, they're not in the best condition inside. The pistons are good, but the actual bores have considerable corrosion inside, so I don't think they were doing frequent uh, brake fluid changes on this car. And as you can tell by the colour of the fluid, it's obviously sat for several years anyway. And whoever changed the pads last didn't even bother using the uh, wear sensors, there are none fitted whatsoever. Um, in all honesty, I probably didn't need to rebuild these calipers, they were in pretty good condition. Um, the damage to the boots were done by myself when I was uh, trying to remove them. Now obviously if you've got compressed air or some other method of removing these pistons, it would be better than doing it this way. But as long as you don't touch the uh, finely polished chrome surface of the actual piston itself, this works just fine. I don't have an attachment for my compressor otherwise I would have popped them out and I can't find my foot pump because I haven't ridden a bicycle for about 20 years so God knows where that is. But yes, this worked fine and as long as the caliper isn't seized they're pretty easy to get out anyway. And in all honesty if the caliper is seized you probably should throw it out and get a new one anyway. Um, this is before I cleaned up the pistons. All of this muck came off. Um, I was really impressed with the condition of these pistons, so um, nothing wrong with those at all. I did clean out the caliper with alcohol. Um, this is before that. This is just uh, pretty much straight after I removed the pistons and given it a slight cleaning. I was a lot more thorough once it went inside the house. So that's all four pistons, uh, still not cleaned. I don't seem to have uh, actually shot any video of them uh, after cleaning, I obviously forgot. But yeah, they're, they're all fine. There's no pitting or corrosion on the pistons themselves. And just to stop the risk of brake fluid leaking on my new uh, parts, I just put a bag on that old brake hose. And this is the corrosion I'm talking about. Uh, it's not the end of the world because it's not inside the actual uh, ring groove. Uh, if you've got corrosion inside that ring groove, I don't think it's ever going to seal properly and should probably consider getting another complete caliper. But as this corrosion is down inside the bore, where it's not critical, you know, it's still got some life to give. You could probably clean it out, but I'm not overly concerned with it. As long as there's no flaking rust, I'm sure it will be fine. Um, this is impossible to do one-handed. <laughs> I'll probably make another video using my actual proper camera and a tripod to show how I did this um, when I do the other side. This is just a practice run. Um, so all of these parts get uh, lubricated with brake caliper rubber grease. Um, and I can't do this with one hand either, so yeah. But the pistons do squeeze in easily as long as they're going in straight. Uh, 
the final nightmare is actually the dust boot that goes on the outside of the piston. I found uh, the only way I could get that to seat because I don't have any special tools was to reuse one of the old um, dust caps because there is a metal ring at the outer edge and um, just press it down using a woodworking clamp and that worked perfectly on all four even the one that has the uh, hose inlet on the other side it didn't really present much of an issue and that's just me showing once again how I got those to seat it's absolutely impossible doing it with your fingers unless you're some kind of superhero it just requires a lot of force <laughs>